Hey guys, Hussein and welcome to the YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to change your life. <laughs> well, I'm not going to change your life, but what at least I'm going to do is that I'm going to make you fall in love with your career, okay? So a lot of you have been asking me in my courses like, Hussein, which kind of theme are you using? Which kind of fonts are you using? And why is your career looking so smooth and so minimalistic? So I'm going to answer all of their questions. But before we're getting into all of their questions, First of all, I want to say, like, I know a lot of you will ask me, like, what about the Mindstack project you promised? Well, I didn't promise anything, but uh, I just want you to know that it is totally complete. Like, the coding side is complete. But now I'm going to have to record the videos, then I have to edit that, and it will take me a while. Okay, so this is the only reason why I'm recording this video right now, because it's been almost one month since I uploaded so this video is divided into three categories the first one is a theme the second one is how to make your coder looking so smooth and the third one is fonts okay so let's talk about the theme first of all so i know a lot of you ask me like Hussein, which kind of theme you like and which kind of theme you are using in your uh coding and stuff so i use these few themes the first one in my list is this dark magic theme if i click on him and you just have to install that just click on this extension area then just click on this set colors and it has a lot of flavors right here so if you are a night guy you can use these dark ones or if you are a morning guy so you can choose these light ones as well okay so if i click on this one and here you can see this is how everything looks like and it is still looking supremely ugly i know that uh, i'm gonna change that in a few seconds but i want you to bear with me and here you can see it has a lot of flavors right here uh, in my case i personally use this one and it is looking cool like when you're working with a lot of jsx and all of that and this is how your javascript code will look like this is how your css code will look like and this theme is amazing and throughout my mernstack project i'm going to be using this theme because i love this theme this is the one like the first one in my list the second theme which i like but not that much but i do use it for like yeah i do use it but i don't like it that much so a golden dracula a lot of you will uh, like this theme because this theme is amazing i'm gonna just click on him and it has just only one flavor and it looks something like this and that's amazing too like in some project i will use that but yeah i'm not planning to and so this is the second theme in my list and now the third theme in my list is this dark vision and I've used this dark vision in a lot of my courses, like all of the Mernstack courses, like Node.js, Express.js, MongoDB, and Mongoose. In all of my courses, I've used uh, this dark vision theme because this theme is so clean and amazing. And sometime in my personal projects, I also use this theme as well. Okay, so this one is a dark vision. And the last one in my list is this Monokai Pro, but you will have to pay them because uh it's a pro i mean like you don't have to pay them but it will give you their pop-up box again and again like you have to um join the pro membership and you have to do this and that and this is how it looks like and this is also one of my favorite theme and i've used that in a lot of my courses okay so it has a lot of flavors by the way but in my case i personally use this monokai pro you can choose whichever filter you like okay so yeah it will look something like this amazing thing but there is one more alternative theme for this monokai pro and which is this monokai pierokai or pierokai sorry i can't pronounce the name but i'm gonna just click on him and it has just these two flavors and i love this flavor right here so yeah that was the list or the top tier of my theme okay so i really like i love this dark magic theme and my list change again and again so i can't say that for sure like um i'm gonna be sticking to one theme in my whole life i can't say that for sure but yeah i really like this theme and especially this uh version of that theme anyway so that was it about theme and i just stick with this theme right here welcome to the second part of this video so now let's talk about how we are going to be making our coder supremely simple so now if you don't want to watch me to remove all of that stuff from my coder and you trust me so i have already pushed their settings my vs code setting to my github repository and this is currently private but once this video is launched so i'm going to make this public okay you just have to click on where is that copy button you just have to click on this and you just have to um, go to the settings just write it settings and then just click on this uh, icon right here let me just make it like so so you just have to click on this icon i'm going to click on him 
and I'm going to just place all of that stuff which I copied from my VS Code right here. So I'm going to just place it right here and now watch what happened. I'm going to save my file and this is how currently things look. Okay, by the way, it's using that um, this theme, but I don't like that. I'm going to change that to this dark magic once again and I'm going to just stick with this one and watch what happened. Okay, so here you can see my coder is looking supremely simple like just look at it like all of that mini map breadcrumbs and that sidebar everything is gone and even the line numbers are gone so if you like these settings so feel free to go ahead to this github repository i'm going to give you a link in the description below and just click on this button copy there and just put it inside your settings right here okay so then your code will look exactly the same like mine and this is how your javascript code will look like this is how your css code will look like and it's amazing setting so if you don't like that setting, so you don't have to. So now let me just talk to you about what in the world is this settings.json and what in the world is all of that settings. Okay, so I'm not going to go into all of them, but I'm going to just show you a few of them. So I use Prettier as my core formatter and I've removed this breadcrumb. So now let me just check that to true. I'm going to save that. And here you can see these breadcrumbs right here. If we change that to false, I'm going to save that. And here you can see that breadcrumbs are gone. Now the next one we have is a mini map. So I'm going to change that to true. I'm going to save that. And here you can see this is known as a mini map right here. But now if we change that to false, let me just make that to false. And here you can see that mini map is totally gone. We don't need that. So that's why I remove that from here. The font size, I make that to 20, but uh, by default it is set to 18. Now let me just save that. And this is how it looks like. But I'm going to just stick to this 20. Okay, so then we have a line numbers. Here you can see I've removed that line numbers. So I'm going to just click on, uh, or you know, I'm going to just change that to on. I'm going to save that. And here you can see we have all of that line numbers right here. If you like it, so feel free to leave it right there. If you don't, then just change that to off, save that. And here you can see that line numbers are off. And now let me just talk to you about this expand. If you just remove that and look at our cursor, what will happen if we save that? And here you can see this is how our cursor blinks. But now if we change that to expand and save that, and here you can see our cursor is now looking supremely smooth. Okay. And by the way, you also have to on this uh, setting as well, which is cursor smooth, uh, curt animation or something like that. So you just have to check that to on. And I use for Emmet JavaScript React and all of the integrated terminal. You don't have to mess around with the other stuff. And by the way, for these folder icons, I use this material icon theme. This is the extension which you have to install if you wanted to and i guess that would be it and finally let's talk about this uh, activity bar if we change that to true now let me just show that and here you can see you will get to see all of that um activity bar like explorer so now if you're wondering like hussein why would you set that to false like how am i supposed to go to the search area to or uh, to the extension area or to mongodb or to doc or anything like that well i have a complete course on a vs code so you can check it out and in that course i have mentioned countless shortcut in vs code which you can check it out which is completely free by the way you can check it on my youtube channel which is like i i guess four hour of content or three hour of content not sure about that but i'm gonna just change that to false and now i'm gonna save that i like it like this so yeah i'm gonna stick to these settings right here so that was it about how we are going to be making our quarter looking simple and now welcome to the third part of this video so in this one we are going to be talking about fonts and now let's just talk about fonts so the first font in my list is this dank mono font and i use the italic version of this font and this font is amazing font okay but you have to pay it if you want to buy it so i've already included all of that fonts link right here so i'm going to just click on this fonts.txt file and it will now open this and here you can see um i have a roboto font which i'm going to show you in a second then we have a fragment mono then we have a dank mono and here are the links for all of them um but if you want to use this dank mono you have to pay them and as an alternative font for that i'm going to comment this line out and i'm going to uncomment this line out and now i'm going to save that and here you can see this is how this fragment mono font looks like it's kind of similar to this one but not exactly like that <laughs> so i'm going to uncomment this line out as well so now let's talk about the final font i get asked by a lot of people like hussein which kind of font you use in the gsap course which kind of font you use in your javascript course i really, really like that font and blah blah, blah. <laughs> 
I, I didn't use any special font. This is a totally free font, by the way. I'm going to uncomment this line out, which is Roboto font. And I'm going to save that. And this is how currently it looks like. But there is a magic. I'm going to also uncomment this boldness and now if I save there and there we go. So now I'm going to go into the index.html file and this is how it looks like right here. This is how the JavaScript code looks like. This is how the CSS code looks like. And that's amazing. And a lot of people ask me like, which font is this? Okay, so now this is the answer that I've been using this uh, Roboto font with this boldness. And I am going to comment this line out. And if I uncomment this dank mono and if we save there, and it is also looking supremely amazing, but not that much cool as compared to this uh, Roboto font. So I'm going to comment this line out, save my file, and that's that. So now let's talk about a font ligature. So a lot of fonts have this font ligature, but the majority of them, they don't have this ligature. So what are these ligatures? They are just like um, these ligature, like a symbol. So if I just write double equal, so it will look like this. If I write triple equal, it will look like this. If I want to write like a not equal to operator, so it will look something like this. If I want to write a greater than or equal to, okay, so it is not working for greater than or equal to. <laughs> so that was shocker. Anyway, so this is how it looks like. But if you want to check there, so feel free to uh, set that to true. If you want to set that to false, so now I'm going to save that. And now if I want to write like double equal to, and it will look normal right here. So I'm going to just stick with um, true. I'm going to set that to true so that was it about all of my overall setup uh, so if i miss something i'm gonna add that to this video or maybe i'm gonna make another video based on that or if i found like one of amazing font or if i found amazing theme i'm going to just make a new file right here and i'm gonna just push it to this github repository uh, so you would be able to see like which kind of fonts i'm using which kind of themes i'm using which kind of settings i'm using so yeah you can copy all of that and that would be it so thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped a lot of you out. And yeah, my Merge Stack e-commerce store is coming very soon, but it will take a little bit of time. So I apologize for the delay.